Facing a dwindling demand and a sluggish economy, China today cut its benchmark lending rate to reduce borrowing costs for companies and prop up the coronavirus hit economy. The one-year loan prime rate or LPR was lowered to 3.85 percentage from 4.05 percentage previously, while the five-year LPR was cut by 10 basis points to 4.65 percentage from 4.75 percentage. This move was a second cut to the lending benchmark rate this year and the latest reduction in one of China's key lending rates. Most new and outstanding loans are based on the LPR, while the five-year rate influences the pricing of mortgages. The cut has, however, been unexpected lines. Data on Friday showed that the Chinese economy shrank 6.8 percentage in the first quarter from a year earlier as the virus and the tough containment measures shut down factories and shops and put millions out of work. That was the first contraction since at least 1992 when quarterly records were first published. While the country is restarting its economic engines, analysts say activity could take months to return to pre-crisis levels with the likelihood of a global recession adding to the pressure. They never have, but Google and Facebook may now need to start paying for news content in Australia. The Australian government is facing unprecedented losses in advertising revenues across platforms due to the pandemic. And now officials want these tech titans to pay for original journalistic content, which is consumed across their platforms. After all, content created by media outlets is shared and consumed across platforms like Google and Facebook extensively. And these tech giants end up taking a large share of the online advertising revenues. Australia will compel Google and Facebook to pay media outlets for news content. Australia's treasurer is calling for a level playing field and wants Facebook and Google to pay media companies for using their content. The country's competition watchdog, the Australian Competition and Consumer Commission, ACCC, has been ordered to create a code of conduct for these tech giants. Last year, a digital platforms inquiry within Australia found that Google and Facebook were raking in huge online revenues, though their content came from other media organizations. And now the Treasurer of Australia is demanding that the platforms pay up for content through which they are making huge profits. Australian media organizations, like the rest of the world, have been hit hard by the economic fallout of the COVID-19 pandemic. Businesses have come to a grinding halt as lockdowns enforced globally to curb the infection. From newspapers to TV channels, the media industry at large is facing a financial crunch. And now Australian officials are demanding transparency in content sharing. The Treasurer adds that the ACC would release a draft with regulations for fair compensation of journalistic content across platforms in July this year.